So finally, a home server application. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how does the Jobber works. So I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to start with a free trial. This is a great section that can be helping us to manage our business, whether it's a small or a really huge business. Totally depends on the customers for one place. We can do a lot, a lot of stuff. So once I'm actually here into Jobber, we can see that we can receive different requests from our customers whether that will be on a phone, whether that could be on an email and our own website, we can create some different quotes so we can send uh, that into our email by text messages or by email quotes once again to our customers to review and approve the actual quote. We have this schedule job faster where we can actually schedule different jobs and different times or our calendar. And we have of course the invoice of email and text so we can hit the complete on a job to automatically generate the send on the invoice so we can receive the money really really easy once we send the invoice using this great great application so uh, what I want to do is to get into get started and once I do have created an email on a actual passcode it's gonna be asking for setting up your business so here I want to go into my company name choose the company size and here you want to choose the actual company where uh, the industry is for example cleaning green industry high-tech trade and much more in my case, I want to focus into, uh, let's say, into appliance repair and hit into next. Then, what tool do you use to stay organized? This is to help you to make this a little bit more faster to use to use and easier. So, you're going to go into the online calendar. I want to go into the pen and paper, the credit card processors, the spreadsheets, and hit into next. Lastly, it's going to be telling us that we need to uh, choose the option where uh, whether we find about the chopper. Here, you want to import, let's say, YouTube, and here I'm going to go into finished. Now, this is totally uh, optional, but sometimes this offer a limit time offer. Uh, so uh, the monthly subscription is going to be appearing in here for only uh, three months. In our case, I don't want to do this. I just want to focus into how does the actual job works. So if you want to start working with different quotes, with different jobs, with different envoys, you can do that inside the create section. For example, we have the create part on the very upper side. We can create a client, a request, a quote, a job or an invoice. So uh, in order to get started here, if I do have created just my account and I have imported my actual company, what I want to do is to of course create a client list. So what I want to go is to go into clients and here I want to go into create a client. Now, if you have a batch, you can import that. If you don't have that, you have that, uh, let's say, written into your notes, you can just do that manually. For example, we'd have the client details, uh, Mr. Let's say Tom Smith. And here you have the company name. I'm going to leave this like that. And here you have the contact detail. Let's say, for example, the main, we have the phone number. We have the phone number of a work. And then we have the automated notifications. We have the additional client details. I'm going to delete this because it's just an example. And we have the property details. So after that, what you want to do is to go into save your client and your clients should be just save it right away. And he should be appearing in here. So it's really important to have the property already been added if you have your customers, your core workers, your teammates inside the job so they can see all the information about the client and they don't have like any questions there. So once I do have my clients, I want to focus once again into create. And here what I want to do is to look out the quote section so I can start uh, creating a quote for a client. So if I type here the plus section, I can choose one of my clients that appears in here that I just created, or you can just click into create new client. In my case, I want to go with Mr. Tom Smith like this. I'm going to get into create a property because this is an example that of course we need to add. So I'm going to go into the actual street view. Let's say that I want to look out for this one and go into create my property. So the quote for Mr. And this is our client's name. And here you have the job title. Let's say for example, assistant, uh, snow, something like that. And then we have the quote details, the quote number, the rate opportunity. Let's go for likely need to track more details on quotes. You want to add to custom fields. If you want to track, let's say for example, the field type of true or false, the default view, in um, my case, I'm going to go into cancel. And here, what you want to do is to add your product services. So let's go, for example, the dishwasher repair. You want to go into the type of quantity, the unit price, the total, and of course, a photo if you want to add that into your quote. Lastly, we have the client message, the subtotal, if you want to add a discount, a text, of course, and the total amount. Now, if you want to have a required deposit, you want to add this required deposit. Let's say, for example, that I want 
I need, I need the positive five dollars and leave it like that. If you want to have your Intel note and attachments, you can add it in here. And of course, you can add your files, the legal files, PDF files, and all that. After that, hit into save your quote, and then we're actually good to go. Now, lastly, in my case, of course, what I want to do, if I go into the create job section, it's going to be appearing job for the name of the client. So here, what I can do is to schedule my different jobs. And here, as you can see, I appear to see the calendar. So what I want to do is to type once again, the client name, I choose this one. And here you have the title and the instructions. So here into title, let's say this washer. And here have the instructions, let's say, go to make some repairs. You have the job details, the job number, the quotes. Here as you can see, it has one active quote, the one that we just created. And here I want to scroll all the way down and I want to choose one of these two options. If this is a one of job, that it will only have like one, one or more different visits or this is a contract job with repeating visits. If I want to, let's say, come back every Monday, I'm gonna hit into recurring job. And here into the schedule, we have the starting date. I'm gonna type this one. And let's say I want to start working into the very first part of February. Here into times, you want to start at the time and the end time. So for example, let's say the 14 p.m. for 6 p.m. Repeats. Uh, let's say weekly on Tuesdays or go into monthly or go into the custom schedule and you want to go in my case I want to go into Mondays only and hit into OK. The duration is only four weeks let's say for the next three weeks and hit into assign. Now here, lastly, we have the team members where we can add different uh, co-workers. So I'm going to type the Xign and get here to create a user or just add the one that I just added automatically. So if I save this one, this one is going to be added. It's going to be sent an email confirmation. So they received this job, the information about our actual customer, the property address and the contact details. And of course, you're going to be receiving the recurring job that appears here into the schedule. So we don't have to actually do anything, but just is confirming that this guys received our actual uh, job. So we're going to go into how do you want your invoice? You want to go into per visit or fix it price. That's really up to you if you want to focus into one price or different prices and hit into save job or you can go into saved and create another one or make an or make an email booking confirmation so you can start saving the job and start to schedule your stuff right away. If I go into create your invoice, as you can see, it's gonna be just really, really easy to add different invoice that we can use for a specific client, for example, with Mr. Tom Smith that we just created uh, a few seconds ago. For example, here is my invoice for the job that we just created. So select this one hit into next step and then lastly we have the invoice subject the invoice details the billing the service the contact and the product so lastly just make sure that everything appears right away hit into save your invoice and then you're actually good to go as you can see, there are different stuff that we can create here into the Get Jobber. It's a really, really great application. It's helping us to do everything into just one application. Um, the most amazing part is that the inside is going to be appearing into the home part. So if I go into the Jobber Eddy, I can see all my quotes, all my job, all my invoice, and much more. Go into the View Insights, and you can see all the tracking that you have generated so far with the project revenue. With that being said, guys, I think that you are now good to go with the jobber. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have fun here into the Get Jobber. And well, I will see you on the next video.